A decent historian will tell you Manchester was the world's first industrial city. And since the 19th century, Manchester has been first to so many other things as well. The first computer and the first suffragette, for example. And now a new piece of technology is about to give visitors and residents an online guide to the city's many sites of interest. Here's Ashley Derricott. In a city of firsts, discovery is often only just around the corner. But how much do we really know about the history of the places we visit? Here in Manchester, a phone app now makes virtual tours possible. Shh! This iconic library has played a huge part in Manchester's rich history of firsts. Did you know that Manchester was the first council to establish a rate-supported library? Close to Central Library, the location for a meeting of two men who went on to shape the future. Their names you might recognise. The Midland Hotel has played host to world leaders, royalty and rock stars over the years. But did you know it's also the place where Charles Rolls met Henry Royce? A ten-minute walk to Manchester University, scene of great breakthroughs in science and technology. This is where Ernest Rutherford first theorised and proved the nature of an atom's structure. And it was in this laboratory that he became the first person to create an artificial nuclear reaction, otherwise known as splitting the atom. It's great for people who are visiting Manchester because it helps them to navigate and explore the city in a more advanced, easier and entertaining way. The idea is that in future this app will be more than just a walking tour of Manchester's historical sites. It will be an invaluable tool for those both living here and visiting the city. The technology has the potential not only to guide users to the nearest public toilets or best cycle route home, it's part of a data gathering exercise designed to improve the way the city functions. It's absolutely a new first for Manchester and it's something that has attracted world interest. So we've got other cities that want to find out how we put residents at the heart, residents and their needs at the heart of how we use smart technology to improve Mancunians' lives. It's hoped the technology, which has cost millions in public money to develop, will help to create the country's first smart city, a wealth of information at the fingertips of anyone who wants to use it. Ashley Derricott, ITV News.